Last video, I showed you how to do a LiveKit voice agent that takes inbound calls using Twilio. This video, I'm going to show you how to do a LiveKit voice agent that can make calls using Twilio. So let's take a look at the repo. I created a brand new repo that goes over all of this. And in the directions of the readme, it's the same dev setup as before. Use this command here to just clone the repo, change directories, set up your virtual environment and install requirements and download the files. Then make sure you copy your .env example file to a .env local file and fill in those values just as before, except this time we're gonna include a SIP outbound trunk ID and I'll show you how to obtain that in the directions below. Again, run your agent the same way with this command. Now going down to the Twilio configuration section, you're going to create a Twilio account just like before, get a Twilio phone number, and create a SIP trunk just like before. But this time, instead of configuring your origination uh, SIP trunk in the Twilio console, we're going to configure our termination SIP trunk. And if we hop into the Twilio console right here, you can see we've created our SIP trunk. And in the termination section, just above the origination one that we've done before, you're going to create a termination SIP URI. And this name can be whatever you'd like. I just happen to name it this. And then we need to create at least one authentication method. And this example I'm showing you will use the credentials list. So you create the credential list right here with this plus button and then give it a friendly name. I chose test name one, two, three can be whatever you like, and then add a username and password again, whatever you like, just make sure you copy those values because we're going to need them later. So if we jump back into the repo, now we have our outbound trunk set up with Twilio. Now we need to create our outbound trunk with live kit in the repo. Once you clone it, there's a file named outbound trunk example .json file, copy and rename that to an outbound trunk JSON and update it with the credentials that we just created in our Twilio console. And that's the name, address, numbers, auth username and auth password. So let's jump into the code to see what that looks like. If we look into the outbound trunk example JSON, we can see that we need to replace the my trunk section and that's the SIP URI that we created earlier. So that value will be back in the Twilio console. That'll be this value right here. So just copy and paste that and replace it with the my trunk section and then add in or replace with your Twilio phone number that you've purchased. This is the number that your agent will call from. And then the username and password that we set up in the credentials list, replace those values here too. And now if we go back to our readme to create that with LiveKit, we need to run this command in the terminal. And then once you run that command, it'll return a SIP trunk ID and you need to copy and paste that returned value into the .env.local file. And I'll show you where that is. That is right here. So replace this value with that in your .env.local file. So now that we have that all set up, all we have to do is now dispatch the agent to make a call. And it's as easy as copying this, um, this command here, but replacing this number with the number that you want to call. So let's, let's run that. So if I run the agent in this terminal and it's running, and now I want to run this dispatch command to call, I should now get a call to my phone number uh, from the agent phone number. So let's run that. And is it calling? All right, I'm answering. Hello. Hi, Kyle. Thank you for calling the game development studio. I'm here to confirm your appointment details. Your appointment is set for next Tuesday at 3 p.m. Can you please confirm if this time works for you? Yeah, cool, thanks, bye. Okay, so that worked. It called the number I wanted from the phone number I wanted. So let's jump into the code. Let's see what the agent is configured to do. So this time we have a voice pipeline agent and you can run a multimodal. It's quite easy, but this time we just have a voice pipeline agent instead of a multimodal agent. And it's similar to before you give it the same, you give it instructions that you want it to follow. And you can even give it the name of the person that you want to call. So if you know that beforehand, you can give it that, that data, you run the agent. 
It has some voice uh, voice status configuration. It has in the call actions, these are the functions that you give it. So they're pretty simple for this appointment setting. End call, lookup availability, confirm appointment, things like that. You can configure it as you please. Now here, the instructions are set. We give it the voice activity detection. We give it the Nova 2 phone call deep gram model. That's optimized for telephony. And then for LLM and text-to-speech, we use OpenAI. And make sure the agent name is set to app on caller, just like how in the dispatch that we called, it's app on caller. Now that we have all that set up, you can call whoever you want from the number you purchased in Twilio. If you want to see any other features or talk about any of this, leave a comment below or hop into the Discord below and we can chat. So cool. All right. See you.